the, the work that we do, um, we need help building momentum. And I, we, we figured that out as organizers. We need help building that momentum. I mean, we're helping people and we're doing things on the ground. Um, and we need support. And I mean, it, and it's financial, but it's also um, people power. We need people to, to, you know, galvanize with us. But um, and I don't mean just the people that we're helping. I mean, organizers need help to, to connect, you know, um, because there are so few people who support it and who get it and understand that the people who are doing the work are passionate about it and if they're if you don't have those people who are passionate about it then you've got a floodgate you've got a floodgate of problems in this country that nobody's really dealing with you know and so those people on the front lines who are in those communities every day who are lifting up those those folks and helping them to organize themselves yeah they need support they need help because you know, I'm trying to help them, but the tools that I need to help them, I don't even have. It really is about making a difference in the world, but you try making a difference with a rock and a twig and change the world, <laughs> you know? That's really hard. I think resources, because the recession has hit foundations, and not just foundations, but individual donors. You know, people that used to throw us a check for a couple hundred bucks a year are kind of like, oh, this year it might be 50 or 75, don't take it personally. At the same time, I, I really do think that we're tested in moments of difficulty. And um, in a way, it tests us. We're, we're used to a certain model of organizing, you know, let's come, let's have a house meeting, let's get three people, blah, 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 and how many percentage of leaders and, and all of that. Well, now what are we going to do? Are we really going to be able to keep it up in the face of even more adversity? And I think sometimes uh, in the face of even worse adversity, you feel fear at first. But I think the great leaders, we all feel fear. Fear, but I think the greatest of us understand that once we go a little bit into that fear, we actually can come up stronger than before. So uh, I like to look at it like it is really going to be challenging, but maybe it'll force us to think of things we never thought of and unleash the other types of resources that we have in the community. With organizing and needing to make linkages, we have the responsibility of not only organizing our community, but going out making those connections because we can't let segregation and isolation and marginalization um, deny all of us that opportunity because we need each other for the strength and unity of the organizing our community. So I see a rich opportunity for organizing a, a, a profession I didn't even recognize that I was doing. But, you know, just looking around and seeing how people are eager to get involved now, and, but they need to find a way. I wasn't involved until I just said, this is enough. This is an outrage. We can't take this anymore. And so where do I get involved in as an organizer? That's our responsibility to make sure those people are identified and that they're um, Passion is utilized to um, make some of the changes that need to be made.